Oh, exciting, exciting stuff to get this truck started up. What is going on, Loud and Proud Card? Hopefully, guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So I'm actually on my way to pick up my brother early from school, just not feeling too great. So um, we're gonna go pick him up from school, and then him and I are gonna go on a little bit of a road trip today. But before that little road trip, we've got to run by the bank, we've got to go buy another truck. There's a lot going on, just stay tuned. And I will tell you, as nice as it was hauling with the Cadillac, I, it, it doesn't be a purpose-built truck like this from the factory. Like, it's got the tow haul, it's got automatic engine braking, all sorts of different stuff. So like, for example, when we've got these windy roads and turns up and I gotta let off the fuel, but I don't wanna slam on the brakes, it's really nice to know, not an engine braking, my bad, exhaust braking, I can basically let off and listen. As soon as I touch the throttle back, cuts it out and lets me accelerate as I please. The exhaust braking kicks in, slows the truck down around the bend, I mean, just very nice. Obviously, this is an unloaded trailer, so it's probably only like an additional 1,800 to 2,000 pounds behind the truck, but when it's loaded down, it will make a big difference. On the way to go pick up this first gen here, I wasn't sure if I said in the video we were going to pick this up or not, but uh, got the wife, got the little bro, we're back here on our way. Something I didn't even know, I don't even know if you can see on the camera, you can see like the speed right here on the glass. It's kind of crazy. I didn't I didn't even know that was a thing. I was going down the road and I just started flipping the switch. And I'm like, whoa, what the heck is that? On our way to go pick up this first gen that I was telling you guys about, I think you guys are gonna really, really like it. So we're gonna pick this up and I'll pick back up when we get back to the house. We are back. We did not get any video of picking up the new first gen that we just bought, but how clean is that truck, bro? It's nice. It's clean. It's, it's 32 years old. That gives you a hint as a year. Stupid nice. And let me just say this, 55 thousand original miles i'll say that again Fifty-five thousand original miles that should tell you how excited you should be to see this thing it's stupid it's like a collector's item like i mean it's a toy it's a collector's item Anyways, we're gonna go um pick up this truck i make it sound like it's just a quick little jog but it's two hours and 30 minutes basically we're gonna go pick up this parts truck and haul that back enjoy the video and we can get some good content for you guys today We are approximately 10 minutes away from this parts truck, and when I say parts truck, it makes it sound like a hunk of crap. Most of you guys are gonna actually be pretty impressed with how nice this truck is. And like I said, I'm gonna feel a little bit bad taking this thing apart for a parts truck for a four wheel drive diesel, but in reality, it's for the better good. It's for the better, the better truck in the end. I mean, that's what it, that's why we're doing it. Hopefully you guys understand that, but we're going to get to picking this thing up. I'm just gonna do a full rundown tomorrow morning once we get back to the house in broad daylight. is the next day and I did get a couple little clips of the truck on the trailer there for you guys. However, let me show you around this parts truck. It kills me to call it a parts truck. I think when you hear the term parts truck, you instantly think, oh, it's gotta be kind of crappy. It's gotta be like kind of junky, tore apart, you know, like, and there's just some good parts left on it. For this situation, I needed a great, solid, rust-free, dent-free parts truck. Paint isn't a big deal, but it had to be clean to be used as a parts truck. It's gonna kill some of you to see this take place because you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, that truck was so nice, you know, and everything else. And I get that. I'm feeling the same way. I already kind of feel a little bit bad because the guy's like, yeah, it was a super nice truck, maintained very well its whole life, you know. Old guy bought it new, had it all the years, and just a few years ago, he passed it to his son, and his son gave it to me and just said, hey, can you sell it for me? I need the money. One of those things that pains me a little bit, it's like, what are you supposed to do? Like, that's the only rust-free clean truck that I could find. It took us two and a half hours to get there, but it took us like four and a half hours to get back, but I didn't go over like 55 the whole way back. It was a hard thing to come by, and there's not just rust-free beds and doors laying everywhere. Not to mention, the cheapest way to get it is if it's one whole truck that's in good shape that you can just take all the parts off, throw all of your old dented parts back on, and just sell it again as another parts truck to somebody else that might need like let's say interior. How you liking the new crib? 
Uh -huh. And I already see the comments coming. Do an engine swap into this truck, do a four wheel drive conversion, throw a stick in the floor, you know, whatever. I already see the comments. And let me just tell you this, just think about this though. It would be way more work to swap out an axle, have the frame taken to get holes tapped and the four wheel drive, you know, suspension installed, heavier suspension in the front to support the big diesel engine and putting the manual transmission and engine out of the other truck and swapping it in between the man hours and the time and all that stuff. Not to mention this truck's still gonna need painted because it still have, has a bunch of flaky paint and stuff like that. It's not gonna be feasible financially. It wouldn't make any sense. Time-wise, wouldn't make any sense at all. But anyways, let's get over here and show you the truck. Here she is. It's a straight, clean Ram 250. The grill is amazing on this truck. Just check this thing out. You can still see a reflection in it. I mean, it's really nice. The headlights are super, super nice. No cracks anywhere in the grill. I'll pop the hood though so you can see it better. No rust really on the doors at all. The worst part of the truck is you can see the rocker starting to bubble there, but there's not even a hole. It's just like some surface rust starting. And then on the other side, there's a little bit of rust on the real low portion of the fender. Come over to this side, you see the door. Super clean doors. And there's a little bit of surface rust starting like right there. But again, no holes, no flaking. You can rub your hands around on it and paint's not gonna chip off. It's literally that minor. Interior's flawless. Only problem is the interior's red. So I might still have to find some um, navy blue door panels. I think I found a guy that has them already just cause I really don't have a way of using these to make it look right. Cause of course that truck is going to be blue is the plan. And if it's gonna be a blue truck, I'm not gonna have red interior. It's gonna look like cotton candy. Just not gonna be cool. But you come inside here, other than being a little dusty, no cracks in the dash, nothing. 81,000 original miles. Perfect bench, not even ripped. Just a little bit of the beating is ripped. I mean, just super, super, super clean truck. Let me pop the hood and I'll show you how nice the hood is. So the hood just pops right up like it should. Throw it on up. And of course you look under the hood here, you've got no rust or rot anywhere on the hood. I mean the hood's in really good shape, it just needs cleaned up. My paint guy can fix all that though. Hinges are in really good shape, they're great. Everything's perfectly aligned. It's the 318 Magnum, of course. I mean, runs and drives absolutely great. That's why it pains me to make it a parts truck. But hey, when I'm done with this truck, it will be for sale, unless my brother wants to buy it off me, but I kinda don't think he'll want to. Um, but I'm gonna sell it really cheap, of course, cause it's gonna have dented doors on it from the other truck, dented up bed. But I'm telling you, the engine and transmission of this thing runs really, really good. Starts right up, drives straight, drives nice, all new brake lines, all that jazz. But of course, it's not gonna be in this shape when you see it, because I need all the parts, and that's why I hunted it down. It's gonna have a different color hood, bed, doors. No broken clips anywhere on the thing grill no cracks no hairline cracks anywhere and if you know these trucks you know that that's a very hard thing to find fenders rust free really nice got the doors of course no dents no dings mirrors everything is in great shape everything's in great working order then you've got the bed of course and the bed is super straight really clean only problem that's with the bed is some paint chipping, you know? And this is the only rust on the entire bed is this little tiny spot right there. And that's it, and that's not a big deal. Tailgate, again, tailgate's in really good shape. It's got some paint chipping, some scratches, but it's not dented and smashed up. It's actually really nice. Tailgate works as it should. Pull the handle and it drops. And if you know these trucks, you also know that that's a very rare thing. Under the bed cover, you would think, oh, it's probably gonna be all rusted out, right? You know, moisture and dirt and all that stuff. Very, very clean other than some dirt. He actually took the entire thing off to show me yesterday just to prove it to me. He's like, I'm telling you, this thing is freaking clean. He's like, he's like, most people would probably try to lie to you and just say, oh, no, it's clean underneath and covering up stuff. He's like, no, it's, there's, you will not find a pinhole of rust anywhere. Take a good look at it. Because it's not going to look like this very long. I know, it pains me, guys. It pains me. Because the thing just runs and drives so nice. It really is sad, I'm so sorry. I hope you guys can understand though. 
I really do. If I could find a dented up, smashed up, rusty old truck to use as a part truck, I would. But you can't get nice, clean, rush-free, straight, dent-free parts on a beat-up truck that's really cheap that you don't feel bad about destroying. If you're going to find a really good parts truck, it's going to be like this, a two-wheel drive gas truck that is just selling dirt cheap. I think I bought it for, what? It, sorry, what did I do? I bought a couple, two trucks yesterday. So this one was 2200 I think is what I, we agreed on. 2200 bucks for this thing. And uh, yeah, for 2200 bucks for no rust, 80,000 mile truck. Frame is absolutely stupid nice. It's really clean. I mean, I think I got lucky. I had to drive far for it, but perfect truck and just what we needed. I've got a plan to basically have like an engine hoist, not for pulling engines, but an engine hoist somewhere between maybe one on like each side. You know what I'm saying? Like one on this side next to this post and one on this side right about here. So that like if we need to lift the bed off of a truck or you know, just stuff like that pretty much. We can lift it straight into the air, work on the truck, and then when we're done like working on the frame or gas tank or whatever, fuel tank, we can lower it back on down and that's it. That's pretty much it. But I was only gonna leave those posts here and fasten and bolt that post and rafter together more secure and maybe layer it on each side. Um, talk to a couple of people that actually do construction and get their opinion first. But just so we can run a pulley or something close by it, but um, make it more secure just to lift stuff like that. But I don't know, that's not decided, that's just an idea. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's probably gonna put an end to this one. Hopefully you guys got something good out of it. I hope you guys are excited that we found the parts truck to get that blue first shit underway. Tomorrow, you're gonna see probably one of the coolest, nicest, craziest looking first gens we've ever come across and bought and it's nuts like it, it's crazy and i was looking for something like this if you watch a few videos back i said i'm looking for another really nice clean first gen and i think we found the perfect first gen to show you guys a 55,000 mile original first gen so stay tuned guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video do not forget that if you want to enter to win our 2001 7 3 power stroke you're down to the final handful of days to enter to win. This is the last full week that you have. There's less than a week left. And then that giveaway ends. It ends on March 18th. So every $5 is two entries to win that truck, plus $5,000 cash, and you're running out of time. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.